during the off season or is it an everyday thing? No, I just want to continue to improve my game, try to get better and better each and every year. And, uh, you know, shooting the ball is what this league is, uh, you know, kind of turned into. So, you know, for me to continue to improve, um, that's what I want to do. I put a lot of work into my off season training. And I just try to implement it into, you know, into the season once it gets here. Did you know that three was going in as soon as it left your hand? Yep. Felt good. Um, I was able to get the, the laces where I wanted them. And, uh, and I got enough space. I created enough space with the step back away you know, away from Jakar and I was able to let it go. Felt good the whole time. Kind of a clunky night overall, at least for three quarters. Can the little run that Kyle went on with those three threes, can that can that kind of snap everybody back into it? Well listen, I mean you don't have games like that in the eighty two game season where it's just it's just feel like you're in a rut, can't get out of it. And then a guy like Kyle who's never uh, standing still can uh, help you guys get out of it, help us get out of it. Uh, which he did, you know, you know, bang, bang, bang to start that fourth quarter. Uh, got everybody going. Bro, were you and Jakar having a little running commentary the whole game? Nah, no, not really. Um, you know, but it is, I'm, like I told Ali after the game, I'm just happy to see him back in his league. It's a guy who works extremely hard and, you know, we, we trained a lot, you know, uh, in some of his earlier years back at, uh, back at our alma mater. Um, so, you know, it's great to see that, you know, Sack giving him an opportunity and he played well tonight. Did you ask Ty for the ball there at the end? Yep. You wanted that run? You wanted that play? Yep. Did it go exactly the way you wanted it to in terms of where you got it? And... Yep. Brown, what is it you like so much about the step back to the left as opposed to the step back to the right? Um, well, I mean, a step back in general is just great space. It creates a rhythm for me. Um, you know, it's not a, um, you know, a lot of teams are not expecting me to shoot a lot of you know outside shots. Um, but I feel just comfortable out there as I do in the paint, you know, so I uh, just continue to, uh, like I said, improve my game where I'm keeping defenders and defenses off balance and they just don't know where it's going to come from. What was up with the shoes? I think you wore three different pair. Um, the first ones I put on, the strap kept coming loose. I don't think the strap was long enough, so a little malfunction. Um, the ones I switched into, the second one, we weren't playing well and I didn't like the way I was feeling, so I took those off. And uh, obviously the third pair felt a lot better. <laughs> do you do that often? Them. Change shoes in the middle yeah, of the game? Yeah, if I'm, yeah, it's a mental thing. Ty said uh, the play post Chicago is named after. The yeah, it's after the game winner that I had in Chicago. Um, maybe the name of Paris Hingham for that too. But, uh, <laughs> uh, what, what are the options for you when, when you get the ball? Shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't remember the exact. Uh, time you know in Chicago when I made that yeah, shot but it was very low you know we, we drew that up uh, on the fly and Delhi gave me a great pass and I was able to raise over top of Jimmy and knock it down and ever since then it's been called Chicago but you know I mean I have other options but tonight you know with five seconds on the shot clock and um, you know it was up to me to try to make a play and I was able to do that. Can you give a percentage on your level of engagement tonight? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was very engaged. I mean, like I said, it was just a sluggish game to begin with. Um, you know, and as far as you know, except for my turnovers, I was I was pretty engaged. LeBron, 28 points scored in the fourth quarter. The bench had 21. You had the other seven. In this 13-game win streak, talk about the the brilliance of your bench. Uh, they've been phenomenal. They're the reason why we've been able to play like this and at a high level. You know, there's times where the, where the starting unit, including myself, just don't have it at you know to start the game. Then they come in with all their effort and they get us back into it and. We ride their wave, so you know it's been a great balance. I think it was either to tie the game or take the lead, but that fast break when you got the ball off the, off the steal and you yeah. came down and you had corner uh, Corver in the corner, and then you had Green on the side. Just yeah. how did that play develop for you? Uh, well, I mean, our defensive strategy was great. That possession, we was able to get a trap on Buddy Hield, and he tried to spin into a double team, and I was able to steal it. Um, you know, I seen Kyle on my left, and I uh, seen Jeff, um, you know, hauling ass. Excuse my language, but he was. He was flying, and you gotta sometimes you gotta re reward a guy like that. And uh, I don't think the right side of the defender saw him, you know, you know, streaking like that. And I was able to give him a bounce pass right on the money. And listen, we know what JG gonna do with it when he's when he's running the court like that.